Welcome, uh, it's Michelle from Eternal Being here. If you don't know what we do, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll be able to get all of the recipes, all the things that we do with regards to nutrition, digestion, health, mental health, physical exercise and family life too. So I've got my beautiful assistant here, Biana. He's, we're doing one of his favourite dishes today for VE Day, aren't you? So we're going to have our picnic this afternoon. We've got two more tasters to come, so keep tuned in. So we have, what have we got today? We've got Thai chicken dippers. So we have got one tablespoon of rapeseed oil, one tablespoon of sesame seeds, one garlic clove crushed up, red Thai paste, We've got two thumb worth of root ginger and that's grated on your cheese grater. We've got lime here that's been grated as well. So you just get your lime and grate the sides of the green bit. We have got four spring onions and then we have got a handful, two handfuls of chicken. Now it depends on how many people that you're wanting to serve. So the more ingredients you have, the better. If you're unsure, Give us, a, give us a call, message us, and we can send the ingredients out to you. So, we've already got pre-done. We've got um, a tea towel that we've damped over, and we've got one sheet of filler pastry. So, we've had that on for a couple of minutes. I'm just going to lift that up now. And you'll see that basically we've cut that into four. So this is just going to make four. So we're just giving you a taster. So we're now going to grab the ingredients and we're going to put it into the bowl. So we're going to grab the olive oil to one side. And we are going to grab... Bjarna, could you pass me the leeks? That's lovely. Uh, spring onions. I keep calling them leeks. <laughs> spring onions and place them in the bowl. If you want to pour them in Biana for me, that's it. And then basically, Biana, if you can grab me a spoon, that'd be fantastic. A teaspoon? Yes, please. So we can pour this in. It's actually gone in. <laughs> Get that all off there. That's perfect. Then get your root ginger. Oh, it smells so nice, so fresh. Ooh. And then we just literally mix it together. Now, the reason I'm doing it with a teaspoon is if you do it with a big spoon, you can mash it up too much. So we're just moving that all in there. Really mix it around. Get the ingredients covered. That's it. Really mix the ingredients in as Bjorn has done, he's used those big mussels he's got. So going back to our tea towel that has been damp on one filler pastry, cut into four bits. So I'm just going to move that out of the way, I'm just going to adjust this a little bit. Sometimes it can overlap, so you just need to take that and separate. And now this is the fiddly bit. So, Biana, if you want to put the ingredients in the middle, that's it. That's it. Place it into the middle. Place it into the middle. That's it. A little bit more in there, Biana. Super duper. And then just mix it out. Then we're going to make like a wrap, okay? So we're gonna fold in the corners, like so. Sometimes it can break if it's got a little bit dry, it is warm in here. So we're just gonna roll it up, like so. Just making sure we took everything in. Took that corner in, it's escaping there. <laughs> and then that's our first one, okay? So we're just gonna show you the one and then we're gonna have a break and we're gonna do the rest. So I'm just going to move these out of the way so you can see what I'm talking. You've got your sesame seeds that we're going to pour into there. Then you've got your rapeseed oil, okay, and then you're just going to coat over like so. 
and be honest saying put a little bit on mummy <laughs> but this is so it doesn't stick on the pan as well we've already pre-done the oven it's on gas mark three and then we're going to dip this in so you just roll it over like so look at that coat is lovely and then you just place them on the baking tray like so and then put them in the oven So here they are. So going in the oven right now. Look tasty. We've got it on gas mark three. Can be gas mark four, it's just because our oven's been on for quite a period of time. And then we're going to come back to them in about 10 minutes. We're all complete and cooked. Look how tasty they are. So Thai chicken dippers. So we just place them, close the oven. Switch your oven off, but we're going to be keeping it on because we've got some more delights happening later on this afternoon. Delicious. Yummy. So give it a go, Thai chicken dippers. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Eternal Being.